We are in Venice and we are uh, at the Prada Foundation, standing um, in front of a very small artwork. Uh, actually, it isn't small, it is actually quite big and we have the pleasure to talk to the artists who are uh, creating this piece and they will give us some, some words, some introduction about her work which contributed this, to this exhibition at the Prada Foundation. Yes. And it's, it's a preliminary model of a um, model which is coming up right by the hut of Wittgenstein in uh, 2018, August 2018. And it's a big hand, a seven meter long hand, which ends in an open mouth and which will speak and whistle. And uh, Wittgenstein was uh, a self-proclaimed master whistler, so he was sitting in, at his hut many times uh, whistling. And so uh, this is the basis of the idea, and it's also based in a text which he wrote, or notes, which is called Uncertainty, which was uh, a response to uh, C.G. Moore's uh, text, where he asks this uh, epistemological question, here is one hand, and they, uh, they're debating if this proposition is possible to uh, ask or say, or if it's true, in a way. Uh, but also, uh, Ludwig Wittgenstein had a brother, Paul Wittgenstein, that was one of the world's most famous one-armed pianists, some say the best one-armed pianist in the world. And so one could imagine that like Paul Wittgenstein was reading this uncertainty where Wittgenstein is only talking about Harry's one hand and in anger while feeling phantom pains in his non-existing left arm. We started the pro this project in uh, two 2014. We started actually uh, just with a trip. So we invited people to come on a bus trip from Oslo to Sholden, uh, uh, where Siri ha had a performance. And we had two lectures. Uh, and yeah, it was a free trip for people to come along and uh, just look at the ruins of the hut and, and the area which he escaped to. I'm uh, sort of the embodiment of Ludwig Wittgenstein in this project. So I, um, I played out Ludwig Wittgenstein at the ruins uh, for this trip. And I'm also going to do the sound piece for the sculpture, which will be um, finished in August. So it's a monologue based on this Harry's one hand mm -hmm. and the sort of question of reality and sanity. And um, yeah, I really did dive into his diary, which he wrote at the cabin. So that's kind of my um, focus, the personal mm -hmm. struggles of uh, Wittgenstein in exile. Yeah. So you are not, you are actually not also working on the sculpture, or is it your the the, the, the performance part? Let's say your mostly the performance part. Yeah. Okay. So maybe yeah, more of the soul of the sculpture, you could say. Okay. Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. But you both you, you work both on the sculpture on the wooden sculpture, or uh, is it uh, no? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, but we also have someone producing it for us uh, mm -hmm. because it's an old um, traditional way of doing it without nails. So you kind of uh, yeah, put it together almost like a wooden hut, I would say, mm -hmm. like the joints is it, is joined it together. One, is it coming out of one wooden piece? Or no, a different wooden piece, uh, but segment. put together uh, mm -hmm. with these special techniques that you use to put mm -hmm. <laughs> so together. So we have some craftsmen uh, to help us mm -hmm. uh, and one eighth generation wood carver also. So mm -hmm. um, I think it will be nice. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, we are curious to see this and uh, <laughs> hope it will be a big success. Yeah. We'll hope so too. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> and thanks a lot for uh, talking to us and giving us some additional insight in your lives.